Unlike secular books, which provide entertainment and knowledge for our daily lives, the Bible instructs us on how to obtain salvation. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15, we learn that the Holy Scriptures are able to make a person wise for salvation. Since we have been separated from God because of our sin, we need the words of God to lead us back. Not only do the words of God show us the way of eternal life, they can transform us as we apply them to our lives. Here are some ways that the Bible transforms our lives. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 Bread provides the energy that we need to survive, but we don't just need physical food to sustain our lives. The hunger of our soul cannot be satisfied by material things. Many people seek gratification in wealth, alcohol, drugs, sex, love, or high worldly status and find only more emptiness and hurt. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 2 says, like newborn infants, long for the pure spiritual milk that by it you may grow up into salvation. The Bible is the source of spiritual and emotional nourishment that we need, just as a child needs milk to grow. The Bible is life and health to us. As we eat of the words of God, we become spiritually healthy, and it builds us up to be spiritually strong and mature. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Psalm 119 verse 105 Without light, we can stumble or hurt ourselves while walking in the darkness. Without the illumination of the word of God in our lives, we may spend our days wandering aimlessly. The Bible is a light that shows us where we are, guides us to the next step, and keeps us from falling. Through the Bible, we can find solutions to our problems, no matter how big or small. We can experience guidance in our daily living and feel confident and sure of each step of the way. The author James writes in James chapter 1, verses 23 to 24, For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away, and at once forgets what he was like. The point here is that we shouldn't just know what's right and wrong. We should correct our wrong after we find out where we have gone wrong. One thing we learn from James' words is that the Bible is like a mirror that shows us who we really are. Sometimes the danger or problem is not in our surroundings but in ourselves. The Bible serves as a mirror that reveals our true condition. It convicts us of our shortcomings so we know when our thinking and choices are wrong. When we see dirt on our face in the mirror, we will wipe off the smudge. In the same way, when the Bible makes bare our shortcomings, then we can take the steps needed to make changes.